Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a basic dashboard using Tableau software. So first let's switch to the Tableau desktop and here I have a very simple dashboard um, already created um, showing gross domestic product values for the different countries, 28 countries in the European Union. In the top left hand side of my dashboard I am representing my data on GDP by using um, filled maps. In the bottom left hand side uh, of my desktop I'm using these three maps here which show proportional rectangles to represent um, my data. And over on the right hand side I have a different view using a bar chart of the same data. So this is an, an easy to create dashboard to represent simple data like um, GDP per capita in the European Union. So let's see how we go about creating a dashboard such as this. So down across the bottom of the dashboard, we can see different tabs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the existing dashboard so that we can recreate it. And I'm going to check on the other three um, uh, charts that I've already created. I have a filled map uh, here if I click on the filled map tab. And uh, by the way, um, I do have uh, videos in my playlist. The information on the playlist is in the information below this video in YouTube to show you how to create a filled map, a bar chart, and a tree map separately in Tableau. So this is what the field map looks like. If I click on the bar chart tab, here's what my bar chart looks like. And thirdly, if I click on the tree, tree map, this is what my tree map will look like. And I've already created these. So now I'd like to create a dashboard to show them all on the same page. So over to my right here of the tabs across the bottom of the desktop space, uh, there is a little um, four squares with a plus sign on it. And that's the tab you use to click to create a new dashboard. Now when I create a new dashboard, uh, what it does is all of the existing sheets, my field map, my bar chart and my tree map are listed here on the left hand side. So any sheets that are in my workbook will be listed here. And it's quite simple to create the dashboard. I'm just going to drag each of these three different sheets onto my uh, desktop here in the center. So I'm going to drag the field map first, just drop it anywhere on the, on the center so the map is there. Um, I want to put the bar chart to the right of that, so I'm going to just drag that and drop it to the right hand side. You can see it's a little bit squashed, but we'll deal with that in a moment. And finally, I wanted the tree map to appear across the bottom, so I'm going to drop that down on the bottom half of the map here. Now you can see things are a little bit crushed, so let's uh, go over to the very left hand, bottom left hand side of the desktop, and we can see that we can uh, change the size of our dashboard. So I'm going to click on the down arrow here beside desktop, and I'm just going to choose automatic. I can choose lots of different sizes here for printing and so on, but I'm going to choose automatic. And that automatically uh, fills my desktop with um, the, the uh, different uh, sheets that you see here. So I'm going to rearrange them ever so slightly. So I'm going to drag this uh, first one over a little, the, the uh, filled map over to the left hand side a little bit here to give it a little bit more room. I can resize that up and down. Uh, whatever I choose to do, I can make the tree map a little bit bigger or smaller. Um, I can also make my bar chart a little bit shorter uh, or extend it down to a longer space whatever I choose to do. So now I've already created a simple dashboard and I can move these um, features around. Uh, I can put them in any order that I choose. So before we finish, a couple of things that we might like to do with each of these charts is, is to use what's called a filter. So I'm going to uh, put the filter on the bar chart. You can put it on any of the other uh, maps that you see here. So if you click on the bar chart, you can see that it's highlighted around the edge with, in my case, a gray bar. And the down arrow here at the top right hand corner of the bar chart window, there's a, uh, if you click on that, um, you can see uh, that we can use the use as filter option in the center here. So if I check that, and then anytime I check on a country here, so let me check on Germany first, okay? Uh, all other countries will be de-highlighted on my bar chart so that Germany sticks out. You can see that Germany is highlighted on the uh, filled map here in the top left hand corner. And the box from the tree map representing Germany is listed here below uh, with the actual values if you float your mouse over it popping up. So if I click on Germany again, it'll restore all the values over here on the right hand side. And if I move down to another country such as Italy, uh, the same thing happens again. Uh, the Italy tree map box will appear and of course the country of Italy will be highlighted uh, on the map of, of the European Union. A last thing which is a good idea to do with data such as this 
uh, just clicking on Italy again to bring all the maps and, and tree map back up, is to add a text box to show you where the data source comes from. So in the middle of the left hand panel here we've got a few options and when I put my mouse over text it's highlighted in a, in a rectangle so if I just click on that with my left mouse button and drag over to the bottom right hand corner over here an edit text window will pop up and I'm going to just put in the data source for this. So I'm typing in data source the data comes from a project called Living in the EU. And I'm going to put in the, the web address for that, which I have over in my uh, browser window. So I'm just switching over to uh, Chrome for a second. And I'm going to copy all of the uh, URL from the top, the address bar at the top. Right click, copy, switch back to Tableau, and paste in the uh, web address into the um, edit text window here, click on OK, and then that will appear, and again, just like all the other ones, you can move this around, drop it down towards the end, uh, whatever you want to do, move it around the screen here. So that then becomes a live hyperlink that you can check to go to the source of those data. So that's how you create a very simple uh, dashboard using Tableau software. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.